Hi guys, on today's episode, we're gonna answer an important question. Where's your cable modem go? Coming up next on the Ultimate Tech Hub. So guys, today's video is all about where does the cable modem go and where is the best location for that modem. And a good rule of thumb is you want your cable modem to be in the center part of your house. And in most houses, you have a coax cable in every room. However, if you have a network panel like this, then your cable modem will probably go in here. If your house doesn't come with a network panel, then you're free to put that cable modem anywhere in the house where there's a coax cable outlet. And remember, you're gonna plug in a wireless router to that modem, so make sure it's centrally located in the house. So the question is, if you have a network panel like this in your house, is it possible to put the cable modem outside that panel in a different room? And the short answer is yes. Let me show you how to set this up. So I'm gonna move my cable modem into the office. My office has two data connections and a coax outlet. So we're good to go. All right guys, so the process for installing a modem outside of your uh, network panel will go like this. Once you find an outlet in your house, like say we're gonna put ours here, this is in our office, we're gonna need all these, this equipment right here. You're gonna need a modem, you're gonna need some coax cable, of course the power supply for the modem, a couple of CAT6 or CAT7 ethernet cables, and your Wi-Fi router with the power supply. And of course to make this process work, you're gonna need a coax outlet, and you're also gonna need data connections. So let's go ahead and start by installing the cable modem first. Then we'll install the router. Okay, first things first, let's go ahead and connect the coax to the coax outlet. There we go. <clears throat> On the back of the modem, we'll need to connect this ethernet jack port to this port, the WAM port on your wireless router. And we'll use this cable. There. And connect here. Okay, next thing you wanna do, plug in the power to the modem. There, and we got power. All right, so next, you need to go ahead and connect this to the data line. Let's go ahead and plug in the wireless router. There we go. And next we'll plug in our data line. I'm gonna plug one of these data lines and I'll plug in this cable here. And this cable will plug in to a LAN connection on the router. Okay guys, let me show you one more time how this works. From the coax cable from the wall, connect to your modem. Power supply is connected to the wall. From your modem, Ethernet jack port, Ethernet cable, and that goes to your wireless router. It has to go to the WAN connection, which is the yellow, and make sure the power supply is turned on for your Wi Fi router. Any port on your LAN port, you can plug a Ethernet cable, CAT6, CAT7 into the wall jack. So this is the setup. It's kind of messy, it's on the floor, but I just want to show you how to do this. All of your ethernet cables should go into your network panel. So the cable from the office where I plugged in the Wi-Fi router goes into one of these ports here. It isn't really gonna matter because what's gonna happen is the data comes in, it's gonna go out over the switch. And this switch will connect everything else in the house. And one more thing, you may have to call your ISP to have them send a signal to your cable modem. And in our network panel, we have a coax cable that's marked demarcation. So for this setup to work, I'll have to go to the side of my house and swap out the end of that coax cable with the end of the coax cable coming out of the office. However, this all depends on how the coax cables were installed in your house. In my previous house, all the coax cables met up in the network panel. So this made it easy to install the modem anywhere in the house. Well guys, we're all done here. I hope you learned something new about cable modems 
and the locations and how to install them. And as usual, if you like these videos, give a thumbs up and share it. If you love them, hit subscribe to keep this channel alive. Thanks again for watching.